In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to safely and effectively clean your vehicle, even if you don't have a pressure washer, if you're just using your garden hose, and that's it. We're not gonna be using any special tools, any special chemicals, just the basics, uh, and then a couple of bonuses. But in order to do this, we're gonna be highlighting uh, this month's Glove Box. Glove Box is a monthly car detailing subscription box. You get new products all the time, and this month's box, was a great opportunity for me to share this with you guys. Now I have a nice dirty vehicle that we're gonna be doing this whole wash process on. Again, keeping everything as simple and as basic as possible. All right guys, so here is the vehicle that we're gonna be working on. This is a 2023 Kia Telluride. Um, it's been just parked out and as you can see, it's been a lot of rain as well. So we got mud on the tires. The wheels are quite dirty. Uh, the fender well inside there is quite dirty as well. Um, the paint has a lot of, it's kind of hard to pick up. But you, as you can see there, quite a bit of dirt uh, sitting on the on the surface of it. It's just things kind of littered throughout. Definitely a good amount of dirt and things like that on this vehicle. Um, we're going to keep walking around. Again, other side as well, the uh, fender well, wheels, tires, all quite dirty. Um, now there are typically specialty products that we would that we would normally use for you know wheels and tires and things like that. But today we're going to keep it all super simple and try and go as effective and and scaled down as possible to show you. Now along with this box, I'm also going to be highlighting some other items that I absolutely love that I use every day in, in my detailing business as well as just for taking care of my personal cars. But again, we're gonna try and keep this as simple as possible. Just a few basic products and a few basic tools and you're gonna be good to go. But let's go ahead and start off by unboxing this month's glove box really quickly. Um, as always guys, I'm gonna have everything time coded down in the description. Uh, so you can actually scroll ahead and jump ahead to where you want. But glove box is an awesome monthly subscription box and they can really keep you on top of, especially like I said, there's so much stuff in the detailing world that it gets confusing. They give you a new box every month with new products to test out and, and try. So it kind of keeps you ahead of the curve and really kind of helps you redefine what you like to use. So first things first, we have this car wash soap right here. This is 50 fluid ounces of Armorel Extreme, Sealed, Extreme Shield Ceramic Car Wash. I personally never use this stuff, so we're gonna go check it out and see how it works. It says dirt repelling technology, hand wash, or foam cannon, and that is a great point because guys, again, in this video, we're gonna keep it very, very basic. We're just gonna be doing no pressure washer, nothing like that, just keeping it very, very simple. The next thing that they include is the Armorall two-in-one foam cannon. Now, I actually have reviewed this in the past. This thing is cool because just starting out, you can hook this straight up to a garden hose and still get decent results. Or as you progress in your detailing uh, and you get a pressure washer and things like that, there's an adapter on this so you can also use it on your pressure washer. Is it the best foam cannon out there? No, but it is a great starting point. It's gonna allow you to get started with this type of a system, you know, actually foaming down the car, even if you don't have a pressure washer. And then again, once as you progress and you get more expensive foam cannons and things like that, you can use this one to, you know, keep degreasers or whatever else for, for hitting your wheels, tires, all that kind of good stuff. So um, it's always good to have a couple of options. From there, we have this here. This is also a new product that I personally have never used. Uh, it is Image Wash Products Wax Replacement, 30 plus days of protection, all weather protectant, easy spray on and rinse off. That's great. You can put probably, I'm assuming you can apply it wet. Uh, we'll get into that here shortly though. Uh, works on all vehicles and it is foamable, so you can apply it with a foam cannon as well. You just blanket it on there, let it dwell, and then rinse it off and it's gonna add some protection to the vehicle surface. So that's cool, a nice basic item there. Uh, finally, we do have a glove box, uh, own, their own branded towel. So it's just a large, very large uh, towel. So perfect for your drying of your vehicle. It is a dual density towel, meaning it's a flatter uh, weave on one side and then a longer pile on the other. So decent towel there that's gonna get the job done perfectly for you. And last but not least, we have a four pack of refresh uh, air fresheners. Now guys, if you're interested in signing up for a glove box, the monthly subscription, uh, make sure to check the link down in the description below for you guys. I do have a coupon code with them, so you'll get a discount on your first month's box, and then you can go from there. Again, you get new stuff all the time, so you're able to test everything out. Okay, now let's head outside and go check out the car. All right guys, I just wanna jump in here really quickly because I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying, oh, you shouldn't wash your car that way. On a professional level, I'm a professional detailer. Yeah, this isn't the method that I would use uh, within my daily business. This is essentially for the person who 
you know, is, has always done the old school. has always done a garden hose and a bucket. And this is going to be an awesome system to show you how you can safely and effectively get good results and uh, minimize your risk of damaging the paint. So that's what this is, guys. I know we could also do waterless washes and all that kind of stuff. But again, this is guided to the person that's used to a bucket, a hose, and some soap. All right, guys. Now, as I said, we're going to keep this as scaled down as possible. So I'm just going to use a bucket. No grit guard. A grit guard is something that will actually help to cap, uh, capture the dirt, make it fall to the bottom so it's not constantly recirculating in your water. A uh, great way to help reduce fine wash marks and things like that. Again, we're not using that today. We're going basic. Hose. I'm using a garden hose without deionized water. Strictly straight from the tap. Uh, no spot free uh, effects here. This is So we do have to work a little bit faster. Um, so we're going to start off. We're going to fill our bucket and add in some soap. All right, guys. So I am going to use a little sprayer on the end of my hose. We're just going to open it up. We're going to fill the bucket up with water. Um, I usually go, you know, it's a five gallon bucket here. I'll probably go two gallons of water. Not a big deal. Just fill that up. As I'm doing that, we're going to go and move on to the ceramic wash and wax or uh, excuse me, ceramic car wash from uh, Armor All. We're gonna open this up. It says to add two ounces of wash concentrate into a bucket and mix with water. So as you can see, it is foaming up quite nicely. So I like that. All right, should be good. We're gonna shut that off and let that dwell. Now, next thing we're gonna use, now you can use a wash mitt, but because we don't have a grit guard or something that's gonna help protect the wash mitt from getting recontaminated, we're instead we're just gonna use a couple of microfiber towels. We're gonna to dip those into the bucket as we're washing the car. As one gets soiled, we're gonna to toss to the side, go to a brand new one. Now, for the purpose of today's video, we're just using basic, basic towels here, guys. These are the Costco microfiber towels. Uh, they're actually, I think, currently on sale right now as well. So a really, really good value. They are a 350 GSM, which is a, grams, a gram per square meter. It's a measurement of rating for uh, the weight of the towel. And they're an 80-20 blend, meaning 80% polyester, 20% polyamide. Typically, the higher the amount of polyamide, the better. Um, but again, these are, for the price, these are, things are great. However, there is a little bit of inconsistency to these towels, so you can have issues where it scratches. Um, so we're going to be relying on the lubrication from the soap to help us out with that. So since we're going to be using straight water straight from the tap on a garden hose, speed is of the essence, guys. Now there's a couple of tips, uh, pro tips that if you're doing this um, on your own, make sure to do it out of direct sunlight, right? You don't want the panel to be hot because that's going to allow the surface, the water to dry on it. And then you could potentially get water spots when you're not using a specialized DI filter. So I'm going to set this up. We're going to go ahead and pre-rinse the vehicle. That's going to get the excessively, you know, heavier dirt and debris off of it. Then we'll go in for our contact wash using the soap bucket. Another good idea, guys. If you can, this vehicle, you cannot. But if you can, go ahead and lift the uh, uh, windshield wipers as well, just to give yourself more access. Some vehicles like this though, like this one are tucked in under the hood. So you can't do it, but if you can, I definitely recommend it. Alrighty guys, so my initial wash is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wash bucket, grab the first towel, start working over the area. Another pro tip is start from the top and work your way down. The more contamination on the paintwork is always lower. So when you go down there, you wanna either flip your towel so that you have a new fresh surface or go to a new one because that's where you're gonna pick up all the excessive dirt. You wanna do as much as you can also not to rub up against the panel. You know, you're like right now I'm wearing a jacket that has a zipper on it. So you wanna try and keep that off the paintwork as much as possible so that you're not potentially scratching the paint. Now under these circumstances, the towel is not holding a ton of soap. So revisit that soapy bucket more often when you're doing it this way. And because of that, you may need to actually uh, use more towels than you had originally expected because you don't wanna just re keep re continually re-dipping the same one. That's gonna introduce dirt and debris into the bucket that could potentially harm your paint while you're rubbing the surface. So it's always essential to keep everything nice and clean uh, even while you're doing the process so that you don't uh, recontaminate. Uh, this towel is essentially all done, so I'm just gonna really quickly go over the lower panels and then switch over. All right, guys, this towel is toast, on to a new one. Now, this soap seems to be doing a fine job. Um, it's not the slickest soap that I've ever used. Um, probably for slickness, I really, really like using a product called Gion Bathe. Um, it's also really good in a foam cannon as well. Again, we're not foaming today, um, but that is a great product that I love. Um, I will have all the links down in the description, guys, for Obviously they sign up for Glovebox as well as um, all the other products that I talk about for you. Another pro tip guys is because I'm using uh, just regular garden hose water, right? 
if it starts to dry onto the panel at all, I'm gonna reapply water to it. You don't want that water to completely dry onto the surface. If you keep it wet, you'll be okay. So we're gonna do that and we should be able to avoid the water spots. Wow, and actually look at that. You can see the way the water is beating here, hopefully. Um, that is the ceramic protection in this soap. And again, it's not crazy, but for a soap, that's not bad. So I went down low, now I'm flipping my towel so I don't recontaminate. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the whole front end of this thing with this towel now. Again, went low, so I'm gonna hit all the plastics down below. All right, that towel is done. Down, we're good now, actually we've hit everything. Gonna go ahead and once again rinse, and then I'm gonna go into the tires. It's not my normal process, but in this case it is. Another pro tip guys, always keep one other hand on the hose so that it's not rubbing up against the panel of the car because that can scratch it. So keep that piece away and you'll be good to go. Okay guys, now that we've got the whole car wet again, so we don't have to worry about the water spots right now, right? It's not drying onto the paint. I'm gonna take my clean towel, or this is the cleanest one, I'm gonna start agitating the wheels. This is a pain in the butt. It's much better to have dedicated wheel and tire products. Um, but in this case, we don't. We're doing the basics, so here we go. Now remember guys, I have not introduced any recontamination to the bucket of water, so I'm gonna hit it with some more water, get it to soap up some more, and then I'm gonna use my towel just to get some lubrication on it and then go at this. So I'm gonna rinse the wheel down again. Okay. This isn't a deep clean of the wheel, guys. This is just a, you know, a superficial way to get it cleaned up. So I'm gonna start on the exterior surfaces right around the edge. This wheel is pretty intricate, so this is gonna be a real pain in the butt. But uh, that's what it is. It's just, you know, unless you have the tools, it can be kind of a pain. So you just get in there with your finger. I'd like to wrap my finger around with the microfiber towel and start going in and agitating each little window into the wheel. Now, with a nice clean section of the towel, I'm gonna hit the whole face of the wheel. All right, guys, can this introduce scratching into your wheels? Yeah, potentially. Um, typically, like I said, I like to use a dedicated wheel and tire cleaner, um, you know, brushes and things like that. We're not doing that in, that in this case today, so this is what we're living with. Um, as far as the dirt in the tire goes, that's another thing, you could scrub it with the towel. It's not gonna do a whole lot, it's gonna remove the surface stuff, but nothing crazy. Um, and then also in the wheel well. So we're gonna rub the wheel well out with this towel now. Once we do this, this towel is done, okay? Do not reintroduce this to your paint, do not reintroduce this to the wheel, move on to a new towel, because this thing is going to be completely saturated with dirt and grime, as you can see. Now, the other side is not yet, right? So I am going to use that just to rub down the tire real quick. All right, and there we go. So that is clean, uh, at least as far as this circumstance goes. So we're gonna rinse that down now. Now we didn't get into the barrel of the wheel. That's another thing back here where the brakes are, especially a lot of dust gets stuck back there. Specialty tools for that. This isn't the case here, guys. We're doing a basic service with the basic essentials that we need. Now we're at the point where the car is all rinsed down. Make sure the, all the soap's gone right. Make sure you do a good rinse. Then you can dry it. But since we have that kit from Glovebox, we're gonna go ahead and try out that spray on through the foam cannon set of protection for this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn the water off, hook it up quickly, and then we'll go ahead and uh, do that. Okay guys, now since this is a bonus step, we're gonna be using the foam cannon. Now typically, when I pre-rinse that car, right, I'm, I rinse everything down, and then before I go in for my contact wash, that's when I like to fill up the foam cannon with soap and douse the vehicle with soap as well. It just adds a little bit more lubrication, right? You always have the soap stuck onto the panel. Instead of having to constantly revisit the bucket, you have that lubrication there. We skipped that because we're doing basics here. But for this, for the wax replacement from Image uh, Wash Products, we're going to be adding eight ounces into the foam cannon. The rest of it's gonna be water, and then we're gonna spray it down. Now the cool thing about this foam cannon, guys, is it actually has a quick connect. Regardless, this is a quarter inch quick connect. It'll work on a pressure washer or on the included little wand that they uh, include for you. So if you just have a garden hose, you hook that up to it and then you're good to go. The more pressure, the better, the more foam you get. So a foam cannon is preferred, but if you don't have one, this will definitely get the job done. Now there's a dial on the side. So pressure washer or hand application from a garden hose. That's what we're using. So we're gonna do that, quick connect it on and then spray this baby down. So as you, keep, as you can see guys, this is a foam blaster when it's not hooked up to a pressure washer. It's gonna do the job, it's gonna apply it in a nice even pattern. It's just not thick, but it is applying the product and that's what we want in this case.
And again, when you use this, I like to go from the top to bottom so that we're getting all the material dripping down and we can evenly get nice distribution across as we follow it down. All right, guys, that's it. We applied it. Now all we have to do is let it dwell for 60 seconds. Obviously, as you're working way around, you can actually move pretty quick with this stuff, but 60 seconds and then go ahead and rinse it off. Again, you can let it dwell a little bit longer if it's a day like this, it's not direct sun and the panel is nice and cool, but you don't want to let it dry onto the surface. Now we can take this little wand that's from the Armor All uh, foam cannon and just start rinsing it down with that way. I actually like this better than what I was using. The pressure is much, much better. And as you guys can see, it's doing a good job of repelling water, right? You can see it's starting to break all that up really, really quickly. And then the water beating is decent. So for a product that you're able to spray on and rinse off, now there's other products that, that I like to use for this. Gion Wet Coat that you can actually just spray on um, as it's wet is fantastic. Even Gion Bathe Plus, which is a soap with protection in it, you just add a little bit more and you can do this and you get the same result. All righty guys, now that that's all done, the car has been cleaned, the car has been, uh, protection has been applied as a bonus using that foam cannon. We're gonna go ahead and dry the vehicle using that drying towel that we got in our glove box. So here it is guys, as you can see, it's a nice large towel. I talked to them, this is an 80-20 blend, similar to the microfiber towels that we were using, and a 400, I think 400 GSM, I believe somewhere in there, 4, 450. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just start by, you can usually just lay it down and pull and it's gonna absorb all the majority of the water, right? So it's doing a good job there. Flip the towel and keep on going. Now I have a bunch of reviews on different drying towels. My favorite are the twist loop sort. Um, basically they trap so much water, they absorb it and, and you're able to dry your car super, super fast. There's also a new one called the rapid dry towel, which is a newer microfiber technology that is not plush at all, um, but does a phenomenal job as well. I'll link all those videos for you guys. Um, I have a whole little kind of playlist of drying towels, so you can get some more information on those as well. All right, guys, so we've gone around the car. The towel is definitely saturated, um, and we do still have some streaks, uh, but overall, it absorbed the majority of the water, so we're good to go. One benefit, too, as a last step, I'm, gonna get, I'm actually gonna, just going to switch towels, but you can also go to a quick detail spray and mop everything up and get it all perfect that way, or if you have one, a leaf blower. You can go with something like a you know a traditional leaf blower, either battery or plugged in, or you can go with this guy. I did a whole review on this as well. This is the Ryobi little handheld. Just really easy for blowing out all these tight spots. Again, the majority of the water's already been picked up. Now we can go in. And blast out all the water so they're not, when we drive away, we don't get a dr bunch of drifts down the side. All right guys, so there you have it. As you can see, the paint's all nice and clean now. Everything's all good to go. There may be a few things still embedded in, right? And that's where you needed to go into a little more decontamination, right? Either iron remover or clay treatment, all that kind of stuff is where that comes into play. So, um, but I wanna show you down the line, everything you can see, the gloss is fantastic now. Looking really good. Obviously you can go into your normal window treatments now. I have a vi whole video on how I do the windows for a perfect streak free finish using only water and microfiber, no chemical. So I'll link that here for you guys as well so you can take a look at that. But as you can see, all the door dirt and everything is gone. Car is looking fantastic. Now for the wheels and tires go guys, I only did that one to show you because that process is definitely not my favorite even doing it this way. It's hard for me with that because I have all the access to the pressure washers and everything. But the one wheel that I did do, as you can see, looks great. Other than inside the barrel, right? We only did the surface here, but everything's looking good. The wheel wheel is looking much, much better. Even the tire looks much better versus this one that got sprayed down, but you still, all the browning still into the tire. The surface of the wheel is hideous. Like couldn't be worse. Um, just to be fair, I'll show you the rear because the fronts always get worse anyway, but I'll show you the rear on the other side. And as you can see, just tons and tons and tons of dirt on it as well. So um, even with that basic process and just getting in there, doing a mechanical uh, wash with your hand and a microfiber towel makes a huge, huge difference. Again, the wheel well on this side didn't get touched versus the other one looks way better. The wheel and tire look way better on the other side. All right, guys, so that is it. Nothing complicated, right? Just use common sense when you're doing this. You don't wanna reintroduce dirt onto a clean panel. You don't wanna use a contaminated wash mitt or, or, or microfiber towel and then put that back on the paint because there could be contaminants in there that could potentially scratch your paint, right? So if you want a nice clean finish, just follow those basic simple steps. Don't wash in direct sunlight, especially if you're not using deionized water. If you are, and I have a bunch of videos on that as well, um, then 
it's spot free water, it's not a big deal. But when you are using straight out of the tap, especially for me, my water, the water in my area is quite hard. Um, you can definitely get a lot of water spotting and you wanna minimize that risk as much as possible. So keep the panel wet, don't let the water dry onto the surface, work out of direct sunlight, work when the panel is cool. And all those little tips are gonna help you get dramatically better results. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that's helpful. I know this isn't something that I usually do. I'm always, I personally always use a pressure washer. I have tons of reviews on those to see which ones are best for car detailing. Um, but I know a lot of people don't have a pressure washer or want to, you know, simplify the process. If you're just, you know, want to do a quick wash or something like that, and you don't want to bring out your pressure washer if you don't have it mounted in your garage, you know, it can be a pain. So uh, a lot of times you go straight for the hose, and this is a fantastic way to make sure you're getting the best results and doing the least amount of harm to your paint. That's it guys, I hope that video helps you. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.